Today we are going on with our comprehensive questions and their answers from Old English period. The first one. How can we classify the Anglo-Saxon poetry? How can we classify the Anglo-Saxon poetry? The Anglo-Saxon poetry may be classed Anglo-Saxon personal poetry, elegies, the riddles, epic poetry, and ballad. The pioneer of Anglo-Saxon prose. Who was the pioneer of Anglo-Saxon prose? Alfred, the king of Wessex was the pioneer of Anglo-Saxon prose. Next one. Name some translation works of King Alfred. Name some translation works of King Alfred. Number one. Ecclesiastical history of the Angles. The pastoral rule of Gregory the Great. And the consolation of Bothalus. Ecclesiastical history of angles, the pastoral role of Gregory the Great, and the consolation of Bothalus. Next one, give an account of King Alfred. Alfred was the king of the West Saxons. Alfred was the king of the West Saxons from 871 to 901 871 to 901 he, he is called the creator of English prose so he is a translator yet his remarkable contributions is to put the vernacular to systematic use though he is a translator it is remarkable contribution is to put the vernacular language, the local language, to systematic use. Next one. Name the important Old English Chronicles. Name the important Old English Chronicles. The Winchester Chronicles, the Abington Chronicle, the Worcester Chronicle, and the Peterborough Chronicles. What is the importance of the year? 1066. 1066. What is the importance of the year 1066 in the history of English language? The year marked a new beginning in England. The year marked a new beginning in England. William the Duke of Normandy William the Duke of Normandy conquered Angles and the Saxons of England in the Battle of Hastings in the Battle of Hastings William the Duke of Normandy conquered Angles Jutes and Saxons of England. Next one, the characteristics of French literature which the Normans brought to England with them. Characteristics or features of French literature which the Normans brought to England with them. There were a great variety of moods and themes. Clarity of expression, zeal for life, Love for the beauty of nature and love for adventure and sympathy for the women and the poor. These were the characteristics of French literature which Normans brought to England with them. Which are they? There was a great variety of moods and themes, clarity of expression, seal for life, a love for the beauty of nature, love for adventure 
and a new sympathy for the poor and the women. These were the characteristics of the French literature which the Normans brought to England. Next one, give an account of Catman. Catman. C A E D M O N Catman. He is the first maker of English verse. He is the first maker of English verse. He turned some of the pages of the Holy Bible into verse. Even though the father of English poetry is Chaucer, Geoffrey Chaucer, to be accurate, the first maker of English verse is Catman. C A E D M O N Catman. He turned some of the pages of the Holy Bible into Wales. The stories in Wales known as Catman's Paraphrases were written about 670 AD. The poems are filled with inventiveness and imaginative quality. So Catman is the first maker of English verse. He turned some of the pages of the Holy Bible into verse. The stories in verse known as Catman's Paraphrases were written about 670 AD. The poems were filled with inventiveness and imaginative quality. Then give an account of Cain Wolf. C-Y-N-E-W-A-L-F. Cain Wolf. He is the greatest of the Anglo-Saxon poets. He is of course the greatest of Anglo-Saxon poets. He wrote many poems like The Christ, Juliana, The Fates of the Apostles, The Fates of the Apostles, and Elena. His poems were marked with, his poems were filled with, marked with, passion, joy, confidence, and adventure. His poems were marked with the passion, joy, confidence and adventure. The next one, important poems, important poems of Anglo-Norman period. Important poems of Anglo-Norman period. The Ormulam, Ormulam, the Owl and the Nightingale, the Cursor Mundi, Richard Rolla of Hambola, Richard Rolla of Hambola, and the Alliterate English Poems, the, the Alliterate English Poems, these are the famous poems of the Anglo-Norman period. Then give an account of the Anglo-Norman prose. There is was no freshness of theme. In Anglo-Norman prose, there was no freshness of theme due to the dominance of religion. There was no freshness of theme due to the dominance of religion. Ancrean Rival. The Ancrean Rival. A-N-C-R-E-N-E-R-I-V-L-E. The Angering Rival is the most important of the early prose written in the 12th century. The Angering Rival is the most important of the early prose written in the 12th century. So the old English period is over. In our next class we are uh, passing over to the medieval period. That is the Chaucerian period. And we are going to discuss some of the items in detail.